Coach Pat, uh, when is the correct age for any player to start using weights, free weights? Very common question the coaches will ask me, or even players and parents. When is the right age to start doing a strength training? A strength training comes in many ways. If you think of going to the gym and see how much can you bench press, how much can you lift, that is not what tennis is all about. To begin with, you don't want to do a very heavy weight and then you can only do once or twice because when you're playing the matches, the matches are long. You may play how many points you may play. 100, 100, 200 points, depending on how, many, how long the match is going to be. And you have to be able to play every point as is, you know, play every point like a match point. If you have that attitude, you will compete, and that's the way you will win. But the idea is, first, it's not lifting heavy weight. Sometimes it may be with somebody younger, just teaching them how to use your legs. You can use your own body weight to do a lot of strength training. You may go. Uh, bands that we use a lot that I can use for strength and for movement. You can use a light dumbbell. You can use, um, if I tell you to do strength training, I make you run up a hill, a straight up a hill. That's a strength training. Make you run up stairs, a steady stairs. That's a strength training. Don't run downhill because that puts extra stress on your knees. If I tell you to run, I usually try to make you run on grass or softer surface, surface because I want to keep you healthy. So all depend on how old you are, depend on who you are, what phase of your training. Are you doing tournament week? Are you post-season getting ready for the next year? So it depends. And but once again, the idea is not, you don't impress anybody in the gym lifting heavy weights. You only impress them when you win the, in a match. And to do that, you, you know, to me, a great tennis player have good, well-developed legs. The top players have very well-developed legs. They got very good, strong shoulders but to hit the ball and all of that. You need shoulder strength. You don't need a big chest and big arms. You don't want to look like a Mr. America. You're going to play like an All-America. But that's what the idea is. And you have to adapt it to the needs of the player. The player, the training had to be progressive. You have eight, nine, ten year old. I probably would use little or no weight. If I use maybe a one kilo ball or one kilo dumbbell, not to try to see how much you left. The same thing. You know, I may have you do like a run up here, or I have you do steps up up to a high box or a bench. That's another way, doing lunges, forward and back, lateral lunges. You know, I may do an exercise that may be nothing more than give you a, maybe a two or three a pound, uh, or a two or three kilo, and I have you move side to side, even with your own body weight. You're doing a strength training for your legs, a strength training for your shoulders, and overall, they're making you tougher. You know you have worked hard, you like to win, just do it. Okay, uh, Coach Pat, thank you very much. My last question is this. Um, what do you have to, uh, what advice do you have for our young coaches about injury prevention? Very c a common question is, what can I do to keep my player healthy? Okay, injury prevention. To me, it's easier to prevent an injury than have to heal one. If you have no use, to run a lot and make you run a lot from one day to the next, you will get hurt. I see in many cases a player gets so excited, they may be hidden in the winter, maybe one or two, three hours a week. All of a sudden they come to a place, to an academy or to where the place is much warmer, they want to hit four, five, six hours that day. Two or three days later, elbow, shoulder, elbow, wrist, knee, something's going to hurt. The workout has to be progressively. As you work with a player, Find out what they're doing and increase the amount of hitting, the amount of movement, the amount of training slowly. It's easier to prevent one than overdoing. At the same time, take consideration. Some players can, turn, can take more intensity and, and a harder workload than others. So you have to individualize the workout for the needs of your player. You do that, then you become a great coach. Coach Pat, uh, we, we would like to thank you on behalf of the old Egyptian coaches that are sitting and watching us. Uh, thank you very much for your time. We look forward to seeing you again in Egypt very, very soon. And we appreciate all the good advice that Red, you get. I'll be there. I'm ready for it. Thank you very That's much. Okay, welcome.